station. Okay, gas station, that was one, gas station. Which other one do you remember? Grocery. Okay, grocery store, excellent. Gas station, grocery store. We have okay. to... Can you please restaurant? Prefer... Restaurant, yes. Post office. Post Book office. Store. Bookstore, yes. Bookstore. Bookstore. Yes, station. Drugstore. Mall. Drugstore. Coffee Mall. shop. Coffee shop. Department store. Department store, excellent. University. Bus, bus station. Okay, gas station. So hospital. In... Which one? Anna Yasmin. Hospital. Hospital. Oh, hospital. Yes, hospital too. Okay, so all of them are places in the city. So which places are there in your neighborhood? ¿Qué lugares hay en su vecindad o en su colonia? Church. Park. Gas station. Super. Gas station. There is a gas station there. Supermarket. Market. High school. High Gym. school. High school. Gym. Is there a gym? gym? Post office. Oh, there is a post office near to your house. That is great. Gas station. Okay. How do you say, teacher? Uh, funeraria. Okay. We say chapel. Chapel. Yes. So let me look for the presentation of tonight. Okay, which other places are over there near to your house? And also yesterday we had the preposition of place. Do you remember the preposition of place? On, on is between. One. On, between is another one. Next to. On, on the, the corner. corner. Across from. Corner of. On the corner of. Okay, como digo, el, ah, era, Kevin is funeral chapel. Así se dice funeraria, funeral chapel. Funeral chapel. Y eso es como capilla funeraria. Okay, now tonight we're going to learn how to give directions. We're going to learn some questions and some phrases to give direction in English, right? Uh, let's see, for example, if you are in a city and you are looking for a hospital and then you ask, right? And then the people say, go stride on this street, a wall for two blocks, a turn on the right or turn on the left. Right? We're going to learn that phrases tonight. So, welcome to the class and let's start with the class number eight. But before to start, let me ask you about the platform. Eh, ¿Quién ya completó la sección número tres? I am. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Ah, ok, muy bien. Bueno, el meter. ¿Quién ya comenzó el meter exam? ¿Quién ya comenzó el examen de medio curso? Ya lo terminé. Ah, you have already finished that. That is excellent. Anybody completed the exam? Yo ya hice el examen. Ana Lucía ya terminó su examen. Excelente. Sí. Okay, let's start with this. This is the topic for tonight. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you see it? Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's go with this. Given direction. So, but first, the, let's read the lesson objective for tonight. But the aim of this class, you will learn how to ask 
for and give direction. That is the goal, right? You are going to learn how to ask for and give direction. So let's go with this. Look at this map. Which places can you see there? Look at the map. Barber shop, beauty shop, daycare center, police station, courthouse, McDowell, park lock, video store, bank, library, grocery store, fire station, drug store, coffee house, city clinic, bakery. Uh -huh. Bakery, okay. Do you know the meaning of, the, of all of these places? Bakery, for example, what is bakery? And uh, the bakery is uh is on the corner of front street and short avenue. Okay, excellent. Where is the city middle school? It's on front street. It's on front street and also we can use between. Como sería si quiero decir en medio de, de city middle school? Let's try it. Make the sentence. Between city elementary school and city park. Okay, excellent. Excellent sentence. The city middle school is between the city elementary school and city park. Thank you. And what is the police station? What's the police station? The police station in, in the corner uh, of Okay, yes, we can use on the corner of, we say the police station is on the corner of Lone oh. Avenue and Back Street. Oh. And also you can use in front of the police station is in front of the barber shop. Or you can say it's across from the courthouse. And look at this small conversation. We are going to complete this conversation with the places that you can see here. Okay, let's see. Excuse me, I need to buy some medicine. Can you tell me where the is? And now I'll read the direction here. Yes, the is on Short Avenue. It's on Short Avenue across from the library between the fire station and the bakery. Which place is this person looking for? Which place? Is it the drugstore, fire station, mm. grocery store, or the bakery? It's the drugstore. Drugstore. Oh, yeah, it said it's on Shore Avenue. Then we put it Shore Avenue. Oh, it is. Then it's between the store. fire station and the bakery. So the place. Drugstore. <laughs> drugstore. Let's see if you're right. Yes, you're right. Drugstore. Okay. Excuse me. I need to buy some medicine. Can you tell me where the drugstore is? Look at this question. Can you tell me where the drugstore is? Yes, the drugstore is on Shore Avenue, across from the library, between the fire station and the bakery. Uh, to volunteer to practice in this small conversation, please. Who wants? Who wants to practice? Me, teacher. Thank you, Marlon and Alejandra. So, Marlon, you are A. Alejandra, you are B. Let's start. Okay, teacher. Excuse me. I need to buy some medicine. Can you tell me where the drugstore is? Yes. The drugstore is on Short Avenue across from the library between the fire station and the bakery. Okay, Excellent. thank you. Thank you. Okay, very good. Le agregó ahí Marlon al final de la conversación. That was excellent. Thank you so much. Then let's go to the next. Let's look for the other place here. Can you please tell me? I am looking for the, do you know where it is? What is that? Sure. There is some back street just south of the elementary and middle school. 
Which place is this person looking for? So it is on back street, just south of the elementary and middle school. The high school. Okay, let's see. Yes, the city high school. That is the place, the city high school. So to volunteer to practice this is my conversation. Anybody wants to try? One, two, three. Who wants to practice? Can you please help me? Look at this question. Can you please help me? I Can am looking for. Me? I am oh, looking for. Then you say the place. Do you know where it is? Can, can you please help me? Can you please help me? What is the meaning of the question? I am looking for the city park. Okay. And Do you for... know where is, where is it? Where is okay. it? Excellent question. So the city park, then you say the city park is on back street in next to the city middle school and the city high school. That is a direction, very good. Uh, to volunteer to practice in this conversation, just two people. Hey, teacher. Thank you. Kevin, right? Yeah, teacher. And Anna, yes, me. So Anna, you are A, and Kevin, you are B. Let us start. Can you please help me? I am I'm looking for the city high school. Do you know where is where is it? Why not sure the city high school is on back street whose some of the elementary and middle school. Okay, thank you. Just this word. How do you pronounce this? Just, 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 yes. Why not? Sure, the city high school is on Back Street, just so. Yes. Okay, let's continue and let's go with the next exercise. So, can you help me? I am looking for that. Sure, you can find that on Back Street between the barber shop and the daycare center. What is the place? It is on back street between the barber shop beauty and the shop? Yeah, beauty shop. Ah, okay, very good. The place is beauty shop. beauty shop. Can you help me? I am looking for the beauty shop. Beauty shop. Sure, you can find the beauty shop on back street between the barber shop and the daycare center. Thank you so much. Excellent. So volunteer to practice this small conversation. Yeah, two. Anybody want? One, two, three. If not, I'm going to choose somebody here. Okay, Marlon and anyone? Me. Me, teacher. Okay, Kevin. Thank you so much. So, Marlon, you are A. Kevin, you are B. Let's start. Okay. Can you help me? I am looking for the beauty shop. Sure, you can find the beauty shop on Back Street between the barber shop and the day car center. Okay, okay thank was, you. That was excellent. Thank Welcome. you so much. Let's continue looking for these places. Could you please help me? My car is missing. Where is the? The is on the southwest corner of Long Avenue and Back Street. What is the place? Is it the police okay. station, the courthouse, barbershop, city, high school? Police station. Police station. The police station. Okay, that is the police station. Could you please help me? My car is missing. Where is the police station? The police station is on the southwest corner of Lone Avenue and Back Street. Very good. Then let's see. Hi, I have a bad cold. Could you please tell me where the yes? Sorry to hear about that. You will find it on the northwest corner of 
border avenue and front street. What is the place? The city clinic. The city clinic. Let me see. Yes, you're right. That is the city clinic. So we don't need to practice in this conversation, please. Who wants to help me in this part? One, two. Me, teacher. Oh, thank you so much, Carmen Elena and Carmen and Delmi, can you help me, please? Carmen, Elena, and Delmi. Delmi, can you? Okay, teacher. Okay, Carmen, you are A, and Delmi, you are B. Let's start in this conversation. Hi, I have a call. Call you, please. Tell me where the city clinic is. Sorry to hear about that. You will find the city clinic on the northwest corner of Border Avenue and Front Street. Excellent. Thank you for your help. I guess this, this is the last one. Let's look for this place. So it says, hello, could you tell me where the yes? Yes, the is across from the city park and next to the city clinic. Then it's in the city middle school, the bakery, the daycare center, or the grocery store. What is the place? My daddy. Oh. Bakery. Bakery. City Middle School. City Middle School? No, not really. The answer is bakery. So, hello, oh. could you tell me where the bakery is? Yes, the bakery is across from the city park next to the oh. city clinic. That is the place, the bakery. Thank you. Now, let's look at these phrases. Uh, hello, can you tell me, please? Good morning. May I ask you for some help? Excuse me. Could you help? You can use these phrases, right? Uh, to ask for help. Can you help me, please? Good morning. May I ask you for some help? Excuse me. Could you help? Para pedir ayuda a alguien, podemos utilizar estas tres frases. Hello, can you help me, please? Good morning. May I ask you for some help? Excuse me. Could you help? And then we ask the question, how, how do I get to? Tenemos dos opciones para preguntar direcciones. How do I get to? Or how can I get to? How do I get to? How can I get to? Y aquí ponemos el lugar que andamos buscando. How do I get to school? How can I get to the hospital in this case, right? Veamos, imagine que usted anda buscando un lugar y practiquemos la frase. Vamos a comenzar con Carmen Elena. Which place are you looking for? How do I get to hospital? Ah, okay, excellent. But before to ask this question, podemos utilizar una de estas, Good morning, sir. Or good morning, man. May I ask you for some help? Oh, hello. Can you help me, please? Or, or excuse hello. me. Hello. Hello. Can you help me, please? And then you say, how do I get to? Y luego preguntamos, ¿verdad? ¿Yo, ¿Cómo puedo llegar a este lugar? How do ah, I get okay. to? Primero es como el saludo y luego, o sea, primero okay. es como pedir la ayuda y luego. Y luego decir, preguntamos. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Ok, that's it, right. Cuando no conocemos a alguien, le decimos, hola, ¿me puede ayudar, por favor? That, that is the same in English, right? We use these three phrases. And then we say, ¿qué es lo que necesitamos? En este caso necesitamos una dirección. Then you say, how do I get to, how can I get to. Cualquiera de las dos opciones. We can use both of okay. them. 
Uh, look at this example. Could you tell me how to get to the park? Do you know where the museum is? We can find the subway station. Is it near here? Where can we find a park near here? Those are other options to ask right, for a direction. Could you tell me how to get to the bank? Do you know where the museum is? Do you know where the museum is? We can find the subway station. Is it near here? Where can we find a park near here? Those are another option to ask for any direction. But the most common one are these one, right? How do I get to or how can I get to? And how to answer those questions? We can use these phrases, work up or go up, walk down or go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left, go straight on, go alone, walk alone, on the right, uh, go straight on, go alone, walk alone. We can use these phrases to get direction, right? The first one, walk up, is camina, verdad, para arriba, go up, o vaya aquí, vaya hacia recto. Walk down, vaya hacia aquí recto, bajando, go down, baje por acá. Y turn left on, iré a la izquierda, and turn right on, iré a la derecha. Okay. Go straight on, vaya recto, o siga recto. That is the meaning of go straight on. Go alone is vayase en esta calle. Work alone is the same, right? So we are going to watch this in the following example. Look in this conversation. This person <clears throat> is looking for a place. Listen to the conversation, please. And then we are going to practice. <clears throat> Can you listen? No. No teacher. No teacher. Now, can you listen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going... Any new vocabulary in this conversation? Any new work? Any new work here? No? Okay, it says, excuse me, man. Can no, you tell me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fig, to 50th Street. St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And what is Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay. To volunteer to practice in this small conversation, please. Who wants to participate? Alejandra Me Maria, teacher. thank you. And Carmen Elena. Me okay, we are going to have two rounds. Let's start with... Let's start with Alejandra and Carmen. Okay. Um, can you come in? Can you please, Alejandra? Can you please start? Okay. Excuse me, man. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 15th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Uh, 
Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Thank you. Excellent. Very good job. Then we have in the second round, Ana Maria and any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Marlon. So, Marlon, you are the third and you are the woman, Ana. Okay, Esther. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick Cathedral? Ana Yasmin? Hello. Ah, que le oí Ana María, por eso no decía. <laughs> oh, yes, I made a mistake. I'm sorry okay. for that. Okay. Uh, you just work up Fifth Avenue to 15th Street, St. Patrick's, being on the right. It's near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. You store around and look up. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Marlon. So let me see in this part behind. It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up behind this is the preposition what is the meaning of this preposition atrás de atrás de okay uh, se siente feo andar en un lugar donde no conoce uno verdad y este chico tenía atrás el edificio ¿verdad? y no se había dado cuenta que se era se han perdido alguna vez en alguna ciudad yes yes yes, yes in which city in san salvador Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, what is the landmark in San Salvador? If you get lost, you can look for. Ways. Landmark is como un punto de referencia. ¿Cuál es in San Salvador? That town. The cathedral. Oh, yeah. La catedral. Right? Busque la catedral y ahí subí. El kilómetro cero. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Que hay ahí. A justo, right? Una zapatería estaba antes, a Schuster there, en el kilómetro cero. Ok, now look at this small map. So you can have here the gas station, bakery, parking lot, airport, hospital, supermarket, bank, restaurant, eh, information office, library, museum, train station, park, and you were And then we have this, this conversation. So, well, along Oxford Street, it's next to the Uberly across from the train station. What is the place? Well, along Oxford Street, it's next to the Uberly across from the train station. So, imagine that you are here in this red point. What is the place? Walk alone, Oxford Street, it says. Walk alone, it's the Camina Way. Then you go over here, you walk alone. Then you see the Uberly. And it says it's next to the Uberly. Across from the train the station. Park. Okay, park. so the park. You are looking for the park. Let's see the next. The park is the right answer in this one. Turn right and take the first trip on the left. It's on your right next to the hospital. What is the place? So it says turn right. We were here and we turn right. Giramos a la derecha. And then take the first trip on the left. Llegamos hasta la Queen primera. Street. Say, okay, the name of the, the Queen Street. It's on your right. Next to the hospital. A la derecha. A la derecha, a la par del hospital. ¿Cuál era el lugar? 
supermarket. The supermarket. Supermarket. Yes. Now let's see. Go along this street. Wall past the train station. Wall past. Camine hasta pasar de la estación de tren. So go along, go along on Oxford Street. Then wall past the train station. We are going to pass here the train station. It on your left. Ahí está la izquierda, the across park. from the car park. Then, what is the place? It's across from the car park or parking lot. So we are looking for ah. airport. the airport is the place. Excellent. Let's keep you all right. Yeah, the airport was the right place. Now let's see this other. Say the first. Say the first turning on the right. It means, tome la primera calle, girando, gire a la derecha. Turn on the right, it's on your right between the tourist office and the bank. Say the first. Then we have here the restaurant. office. And the bank. Restaurant. And the, it is the restaurant. Look at the next one. Go straight on and take the second. Okay, go straight on. It's vaya recto. Then it says, take the second. That's the second true. street. So on the right. So on the right, it's on the left. Gas. Across from the hospital. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station? The gas station is the place. And we have another one here. Take the first strip on your right. No, take the first. And on your right, take the next strip on the left. Okay. So the next strip is Queen Strip. Then it's on the right next to the supermarket. Then I can see the supermarket oh. now. And it says it's on the hospital. right. Then hospital. Hospital. The hospital. hospital. Very good. Now look at this other example. They are meant to read this conversation. Hey, good morning. May I ask you for some help? Sure. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? Walk on First Avenue, turn right on Center Street, walk on one block. The post office is in the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Next to the hospital. In which point I am? I am in the red point or in the blue point in the first conversation? Uh, red. Red. Next to the hospital. It says walk on First Avenue, turn right on Center Street, walk on one block. The post office is in the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue, next to the hospital. I am looking for the post office. So I am in this point, and it says follow the direction, walk on First Avenue. <laughs> Comenzamos a caminar en la primera avenida, First Avenue, then it says, turn right on Center Street. Okay, Center Street is over here. Then it says, all one block. So this is a cuadra, a camino, a cuadra. The post office. Okay. Turn right, sorry, turn right on Center Street. Giramos a la derecha on Center Street. And then it says the post office is in the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Here, this is the place, the post office. Let's see the second conversation. I can't find Al's coffee shop. Is it near here? No, it isn't. You're part of that place. How can I get there? Go straight on Center Street. Turn right at Second Avenue. Go until you reach Main Street. You will see favorite shoes. Shop at coffee shop is next to favorite shoe shop. Thank you. 
¿Qué lugar está buscando esta persona? Que está hasta acá, de gas. Coffee, coffee. coffee shop. Y hasta dónde al coffee shop. Está hasta la otra esquina de la ciudad, lugar de eso. Sí que anda perdido. Entonces mm. vamos, vamos a ayudarle a llegar a este lugar. Go straight on Center Street. Vaya a ser recto en Center Street. Over here. Turn right at Second Avenue. Y a la, a la derecha, right? Right at Second That's Avenue. That's right. Second Avenue. Go, go on to your rich on, main on street. To your rich main street. Hasta que llegue a la calle principal. Main Street. Right you you will see favorite shoes. Shop. All coffee shop is next to favorite shoes shop. Shop. shop, shop. Then I can see now favorite shoes, which is here. It's next to. And I am here. Al's coffee shop. Is it difficult to give direction in English? Yes, teacher. Oh, yes, it is. We need to practice all of these phrases, right? Like wall on First Avenue, turn right on Center Street, wall on one block. And the preposition, right? And the phrases of, the, for example, on the corner of, behind, next to, between. Two volunteers to practice in conversation number one. Anybody? Me teacher. Eh, Marlon and Carmen. Carmen, you are A, Marlon, you are B. Okay. Okay. Good morning. May I ask you for some help? Sure. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? A wall on Fires Avenue. Turn right on Center Street, wall one on one block. The post office is in the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue, next to the hospital. Thank you. Very good job. That was excellent. Uh, two volunteers just to finish in this part and for the next. Alejandra Maria Lemos and anybody? Hey, teacher. Oh, thank you, Manuel. So, Alejandra, you are A. Manuel, you are B. Let's start practicing. Thank you. I can find Al's Coffee Shop. Is it here? No. It is in your, your for of that place. And how can I get there? Go straight off. Center Street, Tour, Pride of Second Avenue. Go on until you reach Main Street. You will see favorite shoes. Shop, Al's Coffee Shop in next to favorite shoes shop. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Very good job in this part. So, do you have any question? Teacher, block yes. es cuadra. Sí, una cuadra. That is block. Okay, gracias. Okay, imagine that you are over here. You are in front of Alice Coffee Shop and you want to go to the parking lot. Bye. Por aquí le van a esperar en el parqueo. So, ¿Cómo llego al parqueo desde Al's Coffee Shop? Can you help me? How can I get to the parking lot? And then you say, uh, good morning. May I ask you for some help? How can I get to the parking lot? Walk Park on First Avenue. <laughs> Second Avenue. Ah, okay. I am here. I am here. Estoy ah, acá okay. in the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Walk on Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Okay, I'm walking on Second Avenue. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left on, on Main Street. Street. 
Main Street. Okay. Then on Main Street. Fifth Avenue. Turn right and two block. Okay, one block. Two block. Two right first and first avenue. Turn right on first avenue. Is there. Ok, ya me atropellaron en place? medio de la calle en <ríe> todo el camino. <ríe> Then, aquí podemos utilizar the parking lot is across from the department store, loop department store, o across from the gas station, right? Por ejemplo. But very good okay, job. Teacher. Sí llegué, sí llegué. Thank you. <ríe> Okay, now let's change. Let me raise this. Okay, now I am in this point. I'm going to change the color. Just give me a second. Purple. Do you like purple color? Yes, I like. Ah, okay, great. Now I am here. Me vine a ver una película here in Reasy Movie Theater. Y me hablaron que tengo que ir a visitar a un amigo acá. Pues en the hospital. So, can you help me please? How can I get to the hospital? Walk. Walk on <coughs> Main Street. Right or left? <coughs> right or left? Para acá o para eh, acá. Left, 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 left. Oh, left. Me, emocioné, me emocioné, hice muy. <risa> <risa> ok. Here we go. Oh, left. Wall on Main Street. To your left. On your left. Turn right. Turn right. On First Avenue. Turn First right. Avenue. Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto voy a caminar? Um, uh, one block. One block. Wall, uh, one block. Walk on one block. Two, um, turn two. right. Right uh, and center street. Across post office. U U.S. post office. Until you reach the hospital. Okay, and then you reach the hospital. Uh, next to, next to the post office. The hospital is next to the post office. On the corner? Oh, you can say on the corner of Center Street and First Street. Avenue. Yes, yeah. First Avenue. Very good. Sí, llegué, thank you. Casi me pierdo, pero llegué. <laughs> pero llego. <laughs> <laughs> No sabía hacia la derecha o la izquierda. <risa> Muy bien, le tiré el dip en el de las practice, de las practice in this place. Do you like red color? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, let me see. I am here at the gas gas station. Estoy en este lugar. Y no me ajustó para pagar la gasolina because it is expensive. <laughs> And I need to go to the bank. Then, can you help me? How can I get to the bank? In the bank. Ah, okay. Bank. Okay. Go to First Avenue. Oh. Then to right to right to First Avenue. Right. Okay. One block. One block. Next to. Uh, Next turn. Turn to. Right. To turn left. Okay, I am here in this point. Yes. <laughs> Turn left. Walk on Main Street. Turn left. 
left main yes street. main street Acro uh, between the uh, department store and and maria's restaurant <laughs> Maria's, uh, Maria's restaurant. Okay, explain. <laughs> the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Excellent, thank you. Sí, llegué. Hoy me costó más, pero llegué. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aquí en esta esquina no vamos <laughs> para dónde. Sí. Okay, do you have any question? If you don't have any question, let me tell you the meter exam. Let me show you what are the exercises that you need to hold there. And let me share with you the screen. Teacher, we did it. We did finished. You have... Mr. Ah, you this? Yes. Congratulations. Nos pidieron la sección 3 y el Mr. para ahora. Mr. Ah, okay. Ya haríamos por la 4. The next week we are going to start the section number four. Que yes, yes. las evaluaciones van como adelantadas porque ajá el midterm eh, evaluó esto de las direcciones y no lo habíamos visto. Ah oh, yes right it is con el propósito de que vayamos al día verdad por si nos atrasamos un poquito y si ya tiene trabajo adelantado pues no pasa nada. <coughs> My internet is slow tonight. Teacher. Yes. Eh, y no nos podría ayudar mandando las diapositivas que nos ayudó al principio. Oh, sure. I can share them with you. Sí, les puedo mandar en, las diapositivas. En el eso, grupo, si se me, puede, teacher. Eso me ayuda bastante a mí, teacher. Ah, sí. okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send all the presentation, right? Let me see. Sí. No. Todas las teachers, las que hacen mm -hmm. falta. Bueno, sí, hoy me pongo el día, ya se las mando después de la clase y les comparto el. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Las diapositivas. Okay. Fine. This is the meter, right? ¿Cuántos ejercicios tenía? How many exercises did you solve here in the meter exam? And what was your score? ¿Cuál fue su five, nota en el Really? Okay, so this is the meter exam and we have a listening part and also we have this other exercise, my equation with the answer, which is grammar. And then we have select W equation to complete the conversation, uh, grammar and vocabulary in this case, and complete the conversation. This is grammar too. Yes, the use of have. And finally, we have this reading, this reading article, the home remedies. Then that was your meter exam. So let's see the listening part. Was it easy or difficult for you, this part? Was it easy or difficult? Como sintió el listening? It was difficult, fácil. I didn't understand anything. I understand everything in the conversation. Then the instructions say, listen to the conversation and check the correct answer. In the number one, do you remember the answer in this part? <clears throat> Let me see if I can play the listening. One. Can you listen? No, teacher. Let's fix it. I'm sharing the out. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Can you listen now? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Can yes. you listen? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's pay attention to this listen. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. 
too. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD, and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. After listening to these, what are the answers? Number one, what is going to be? Mark is going to be 13 mm -hmm. years old, 30 years old, or 33 years old. 30. 30. 30 years old. 30 years old. This one? Are you sure? 30 years old? 30 years old. Ah, okay. And let's see the second. Mm -hmm. No, no, this share. That's it. 13. 13, 13, years, 13 old. years old. Okay, now they are going to have a party on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Saturday. Saturday. Okay, on Saturday, right? Hey, his birthday is on Friday, but the party is going to be on Saturday. And they're going to dance or sing song or watch sing television. Song. Sing song, sing song. Sing. Things done. Okay, let me see. And this was the first part of the turn. So the listening part, very good. Congratulations, you got 10 in this part. Let's go with the second part. Match the question with the answer. Are we going to work at this weekend? And then you have here the option. Yes, I'm going to go swimming. No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. No, we're not. We're going to relax. Yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. Yes, he is. He is going to be his parents. No, they aren't. They are going to have a party. What is the answer? No, we're not. We're going to relax. Okay, thank you. And let's go to the next question. Are they going to cook dinner? Are they going to cook dinner? And the ocean are the same. So what is the answer? What's, what's yes. the answer in this part? Yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. Oh, yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. Very good. And number three, are you going to exercise this evening? Are you going to exercise this evening? Yes, hmm. I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm going to go swimming. That was the answer. Very good. And is Bill going to do anything after work? Question yes, four. he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's going to visit his parents. He's going to visit his parents. Number five, are Pan and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? No, they yes, are. Yes, they are. They are going to they are no, they are. No, they are. No, they They are going to have, have no, they a party. They are going to have a party. No, they are. They are going to have a party. And is it number six, the last one? Yes, it is. Is it going to rain tomorrow? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. Let me see. Si nos sacamos 10. Yes, right. We have 20 points in this part. Excellent. I want to ask you something. Do you have this option? Do you have this option in your platform? Tienen esta opción en su plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, did you download this manual? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay, are you working on it? That can help you, right? 
Pueden ir llenando esos ejercicios también. Eh, let's go with the exercise number C. And it was W equation to select W equation to complete the conversation. A, we have next summer we are going to go to Alaska. What was the equation? We have the answer and we need the equation to complete this. Where are you going to go next summer? Where is asking for a place, right? Where? In let me see, Alaska. Wow. How are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? ¿Cómo van a llegar ahí? We are going to take a boat. Vamos a tomar un barco. The, that sounds too exciting. I'm going to go with my family. Who are you? Who are you going to go with? Con quien, right? Who? Who, who are you going to go? 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 Great. We are going to go on June 21st. When are you going to go? Okay. When are you going to go? Going to go. When are you going to go? Okay, those were the answers in this part. Uh, we are almost to finish this exercise D. Complete the conversation. Select the correct work. Feel good or have in this part? I a headache. I have. I have. I have. B. Drink take. it or take. take it. Take. Take this pill. Let's see, conversation number two. Uh, the matter. What is the right option to complete this question? What, how, or why? What's the matter? What? 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 And the next one, I don't feel. Well. I don't feel well. I don't I feel have, well. I have a stomach ache. Conversation three. Do you feel today? How? Uh. How do you feel today? Not so good. How? I see. I have. I have psoriasis. Psoriasis. In the last conversation, I have a backache. Don't exercise. exercise. Don't exercise. And use. Use. Use this medication. Use this medication. Okay, excellent. 20 points of 20 points. And this is the last part. Read this article. Read this article, then select the correct home remedy for each condition. And then we have the home remedies, right? A cold, a headache, a cough, and insomnia. Okay. A cold, a cough, a headache, or insomnia. So you can try yes. these home remedies, right? You can try some of these home remedies. Do home remedies really work? Many people say yes. Try this simple home remedy. Uh, what is your opinion? Do home remedies really work? Funcionan los remedios caseros? ¿Qué opinan ustedes? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, they do, right? Uh, for a call, what can you do for a call? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people bring hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. For a cough, do you have a bad cough? Drink water tea or take some honey. This can make your throat feel better. A headache. What about a headache? Put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. Insomnia. Can you sleep at night? Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. And number one, for a call, you can drink water or take some money. Put a cold cloth on your head. Some people eat hot chicken soup. Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a warm bath. What some is the answer? Eat, some, people, some people eat hot chicken soup. And for a call, you can drink warm tea or take some honey. 
and for a headache. For a um, headache. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Put eso, como profe. <laughs> Put a cold cloth. Okay. Put a cold cloth on your heel. And for insomnia. Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a warm bath. Ah, okay, excellent. Let me see. Okay. Excellent. And that was the meter exam. Este fue el examen de medio curso. This was the meter exam. Do you have any question? Any problem on this one? Or everything is okay? Is everything okay? Everything no problem? Okay, no problem. Ah, okay. okay. No problem. Bueno, drink a large glass of warm milk. Y a los que nos hace daño la leche, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Mm -hmm. Una taza grande de café. Mm -hmm. Peoramos la situación. Okay, thank you so much sí. for your help. Thank you, you are doing a great job. As you can see, we are in the middle of this course. Ya estamos en la mitad del curso, ¿verdad? ya solo dos semanas. El próximo lunes no hay clases. The next Monday we won't have classes. Pero sí, esa clase la vamos a reponer el día viernes. Entonces, la próxima semana tenemos de martes a viernes esta clase. Yeah. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you, okay. teacher. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Good night. Nos vemos hasta el martes. Good night. Good night, night teacher.